Good day Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again, returning to our topical weather analysis for this Wednesday through Friday, September 23 to 25, 2020, and this brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set beginning today, September 23, Wednesday, until tomorrow, Thursday, September 24, we have a very long surface trough connected from connecting from tropical storm dolphin with local name Marse, which is now outside the Philippine Air responsibility interacting with a uh, frontal system or this stationary front and it is likely to become a subtropical cyclone within the next uh, or extra tropical cyclone in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours so this surface trough will bring some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms across central and southern Luzon including Metro Manila, uh, Bicol region, Mindoro, Romblon, and Marinduque. Meanwhile here across the Visayas, Palawan, and Sulu Archipelago, it will be under the influence of the weak habagat or the southwesterly surface wind flow, bringing some busy conditions with possible showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon or evening. It, it is uh, slightly enhanced by a shallow low pressure area. This is nothing to worry about. It will uh, dissipate in the next couple of days or move towards the north and uh, maintain as a low pressure area over to the east of the Batanes within the next couple of days. But nothing to worry about. Computer models are not eager to intensify this shallow LPA. But we are going to observe this for the next couple of days. And uh, so far, that's the uh, latest. We don't have any... Oh, by the way, we have here northeasterly surface wind flow starting to blow across Taiwan and the Batanes Cove Islands, including the uh, northern portions of extreme northern sun. So uh, this is uh, actually the uh, prelude of the approaching Amihan, which is likely to start sometime uh, last week of October or November. It depends on the situation of the high pressure uh, area subtropical high which is now starting to form over areas of Mongolia and northern China so we could see some uh, some light breeze over these areas of Tanis and extreme northern Luzon so there could be some thunderstorms as well across the extreme northern parts of Luzon in the afternoon and evening brought about by this uh, cool northeasterly surface wind flow and outside of PAR, uh, you can see a uh, uh, surface stuff here from shallow LPA or to, towards to the north of Guam. Another surface stuff here and an ITCJ over eastern Micronesia and Marshall Islands. We have here 95W, another low pressure area which is expected to be absorbed by the same front that is absorbing dolphin right now. So this 95W is less than 35% chance. Of developing into a tropical cyclone. So dolphin right now is a uh, tropical storm, although yeah, actually it's a severe tropical storm with winds of 95 kph. So that's the latest for GraphSat. As we look at our fast animation, you can clearly see here some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly across the zone, brought about by the surface draft in the northeast wind flow. And you can see here tropical storm, severe tropical storm, dolphin moving to the south of Japan. And as we look at our zoom in satellite animation, you can clearly see here the uh, increasing uh, wide swath of thunderstorm uh, uh, activity across central and southern Luzon. Here in the vehicle regions, particularly Kamarini Sur and Naga City, we, we experienced some very heavy downpour during the past few hours around uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon so there could be some uh, flooding in low-lying areas which is normal when we have a very severe thunderstorm occurring over your respective areas so here right now you can see as the evening progresses very strong thunderstorms is affecting the areas are affecting the areas of central and northern Luzon and portions of northern Luzon as well due to convective heating and the surface stuff here across the vehicle and uh, southern and central Luzon. It will just last for uh, two hours then later in the evening it will start to decay 
and tomorrow some good weather again in the afternoon evening expect another round of thunderstorms expected so here's the latest windy.com uh, wind and rain forecast for the next two days tomorrow afternoon still another uh, localized thunderstorms will be expected all throughout the country and uh, also in the afternoon or evening of Friday this is somewhat strong or severe thunderstorm will be expected again across Metro Manila and Santa Luzon particularly around 4 p.m. or later or before 4 p.m. it depends since the forecast for local uh, areas are difficult to predict due to our computer models which is uh, somewhat covering large area of landmass so it's not yet quite accurate to uh, predict uh, weather forecast locally uh, although it's uh, higher uh, above 60 or 70 percent probability so expect some thunderstorm activity again in uh, various parts of the Philippines on Thursday and Friday and uh, let's move now towards our global topics hazards and benefits outlook from the climate prediction center of NOAA so this is for the next two weeks. So for week one, September 23, today hanging until uh, September 29, normal rainfall activity will prevail over the Philippine Islands, but we have here a medium or moderate chance of a possible formation of a low pressure area into a tropical cyclone, but it is not yet sure, around 50% chance. But when I look at the computer models, there's uh, still uh, a low chance of uh, developing over this area. And... Uh, right here on the second week we don't have any topical development as well the rainfall activity over the philippines will remain normal from september 30 to october 6 so we are still continuing to enjoy some uh, less and less tropical cyclone activity but we don't know when october progresses until november through december so we are going to look into that uh, situation let's hope and pray that there's no tropical cyclone that will affect our country. And here's the latest uh, La Nina update from the CPC and IRI model of the Colombian University as well as uh, in collaboration with NOAA. So uh, the mid-September forecast for September, October, November is now around 79% of a moderate or weak La, La Nina and it will continue to be above 50 percent until march okay so september october november until uh, january february march we, are, we, we will be under either our moderate or weak la nina so expect above average rainfall for the next six months or so so this is the latest uh, multi-model probability forecast for rainfall or precipitation for asia this is for October, November, December 2020 issued for this uh, month, September 2020. As you can see here, the Philippine Islands is above normal. So this is due to the uh, effects of the La Nina. So it will be uh, the areas of Palawan, Visayas, Bicol region will be around 60 to 70 percent above normal while 45 to 50 percent above normal across uh, Mindanao as well as Luzon so we expect increasing uh, rainfall or day-to-day -day rainfall activity across the Philippine Islands for the months of October November December so please uh, prepare especially those in the low-lying areas for possible flooding when uh, a weather system passes by or the uh, easterly flow produces more thunderstorms across the Philippines so we expect that this event will probably increase more rainfall to our country okay so that's the latest for our La Nina and precipitation forecast for the next three months and uh, next month we will uh, give you again another update on the La Nina and the for precipitation forecast for the next three months so that's it. That's our latest from Typhoon 2000. And we will be uh, coming back again on Friday to give you more updates on the weather situation for our country. 
From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag WeatherWiser. Be hashtag TyphoonWiser. And thank you for watching our weather update.